All right, welcome back. Now, this is a season of strike actions in Nigeria. Our university lecturers are on strike. Their non-academic staff counterparts are also on strike. Polytechnic lecturers are threatening to do the same. Some are actually on strike in some states. And now our doctors, the ones we call resident doctors, are also on strike. So the government is holding negotiations on all fronts with all these unions. The federal government has actually been locked in a round of negotiations with the National Association of Resident Doctors. But no amicable resolution has so far been reached. The last meeting in Abuja ended in the early hours of last Thursday between the leaders of the striking doctors and government delegation, of course, that included the Minister of Labor and Productivity, Dr. Chris Singige, and that of Health, Professor Isaac Adewale, uh, Adewale Ya. The government has made its submissions to uh, the doctors, but it appears the doctors are not ready to bend over backwards in their demands owing to what they describe as insincerity of government to keep uh, to its agreements. Now, the question is, what exactly do the doctors want? I'm going to reel out uh, the demands of the doctors now for everybody to understand why these doctors are on strike again. Of course, one of the demands, they say all heads of tertiary health institutions who have received funding for the payment of resident doctors in their establishments should be directed to pay same immediately. The second one, they want a resolution of persistent shortfalls and unpaid arrears of salaries earned in both federal and state tertiary health institutions. And then the third one, the resident doctors, uh, they say they want resident doctors now to be enrolled into the Integrated Personal, uh, Personnel Payroll Information System, IPIS, which has been on since 2003. The government should also look into the non-implementation of adjusted house officers entry grade level equivalent since 2014. The fourth demand, the resolution of issues around stagnation of promotion and non-promotion of members who have met requisite criteria despite the collective bargaining agreements and seculars. The fifth one, implementation of the National Health Act. The sixth, that the government should improve hospital facilities, equipment, and the poor working conditions of all doctors. And then the last one, the association wants the Minister of Health, Isaac Adewale, and a former health minister, Onyebuchi Chuku, and one other person to be sanctioned, according to them, for carrying out activities and actions inimical to the welfare and progress of the association. I'm now being joined on the program by Dr. Olawale Oba, who is uh, the General Secretary of, uh, well, the Association of Resident Doctors, uh, the Luth branch now. Dr. Lali, thank you very much uh, for coming on the program. Thank you Let's very much. look at that demand. You're asking uh, for the sanction of uh, the health minister and the one who has left and one other person. I mean, that demand, some people will say, it should not be one of the demands that should make, you know, compel your association to go on strike. Thank you very much. Uh, that demand is not one of the... Demands not one for, of the key demands. Yes, for this you strike just action. To patch up. It's not a patch up. Uh, it's something that came up during the last uh, meeting the association had, you know, and then it was uh, unanimously agreed that for a doctor, you know, who now is a minister and doing activities that are inimical to the association. What are these activities? Oh, well, this I, I, this doctor works for government. You expect the doctor to protect the interests of government. Also protecting the interests of people that work for the government okay. because uh, government only does not have responsibility over their ministers but all over the citizenry as well. So what and, were those actions that were inimical? Well, I would not want to be naming actions, you know, here and here, but all the same, these are not part of the things that we are actually agitating for now. It's an issue that I have been debated and then coming up as part of the demands of nationalization of resident doctor is to, to, to talk about other things that are important. So tell you know, us about us. your key demands, especially the first one for us. Yeah, instance. the first demand, that is the payment of the arrears, yeah. you know, the shortfalls of uh, doctors, which dates back as 2006 December, 16 December mm -hmm. rather. You know, this uh, event had been on for some time now, and then we feel that if, as doctors, we are all working for the same government in Nigeria, as other people in other parastatals and other government agencies who get their full salaries every month. So, so basically Why should doctors be different? So doctors, you're, you're saying resident doctors have not been paid their full salaries for since 2006? 2016, December. There 2016. are some centers in Nigeria 
some sense, some hospitals in Nigeria where their salaries are not being paid fully. They get percentages of their salary. But there are other, there are other centers where like they, get, 80, they, get, they get fully paid. There are other few centers that get full salaries, even though there are asterisk. There, there, there's a point that I'm going to make later in the course okay. of the discussion in relation to that. Because there are centers that ideally should be paid what uh, has been, what I, I'll call an adjusted salary that's been on since 2013 but which has not been implemented in some sense. So by and large, we could also regard that as percentage salary. Now, now the, the fact is that if some centers are paying the full thing and some centers are not paying the full thing, it means th the government may not be responsible for that. It just might have to do with the management of those centers and that you should take up your grievances with the management of those centers. For instance, the local branch of the association could just decide to take up uh, an issue with uh, loose for instance, it sort of uh, paralyzed the entire health sector in the country. It's beyond that. Reason being that the shortfall is now metastasizing in almost all the institution. You know, we got a feeler that even some centers that were previously unaffected may start getting to be affected in terms of shortfall. So we feel that this is the time to put a stop to all of this. Reason being that. If, for instance, we work in the same institution as health workers, you are a non-doctor, I'm a doctor, and you are getting full salaries, you know, all along till this period of time. Why should doctor be different? So, so this is basically not about one for all, all for one situation. No, 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 it's not about that. It is not a solidarity strike. It's something that affects all because uh, it's better to anticipate and prevent things rather than... Mm wait for them to happen. So that is the approach. So if centers that have been getting full salaries are soon to be affected in terms of shortfall, then I think it's better to put an end to all of this once and for all. Tell us about your other key demand. The second demand has to do with uh, the pro proper placement of uh, house officers at entry points. Yeah, exactly. I really need to understand that because um Obviously, you, you raised that in your demand. Yes. Entry equivalent Entry, or something. Yes. The, what that means is that there, is, there are different, uh, we call it grade levels, used for doctors and non-doctors. Some are on counties, some are on commerce. You know. Then for doctors, we are on commerce. For some non-doctors, mm. are on counties. So there is a grade entry level that house officers who are doctors are supposed to coming, you know, true, which ideally mm. should be part of what has been discussed in 2013 in relation to what we call skipping. So because house officers only spend a year of internship, and if they are going to be properly pl placed, they shouldn't start at the level that we were prior to when the skipping was, uh, you know, agreed upon, even though it is not globally implemented in Nigeria now. So, uh, we they talk about grade level for counties, you know, eleven. I mean nine. Then for commerce, grade. I mean two. Step three for the house officers, and then for counties nine. But if that is not properly placed and circularized, it will mean that the house officer will be changed, you know, by some because every grade level improvement amounts to increments in you know remuneration. So there will be some some some, some sorts of a uh, changing the health services if that is not a. Uh, and then you say you done. want to be integrated into the uh, the IP payroll system. It is very key because even that is part of the agenda of uh, this present administration, to have control, you know, and then prevent abuse of uh, offices, you know. So we think it is very germane that doctors are returned back to these IPs because it's going to one remove this issue of shortfall because if salaries are approved you know at the center then everything goes to where it's supposed oh, to it's go it's not to. the case now it, it is it's not it's the not case done, so. what we are getting or what some hospital although i'm aware that there are some hospitals that are being paid from ips but generally majority it, it of centers yes majority of centers are being paid from what we call gift miss that's a platform to pay doctors you know, in uh, hospitals, so which is different from what is used to pay other, you know, health workers. They are on IPs. Mm -hmm. So we believe that if everybody is on IPs, it's going to, you know, reduce a lot of these uh, anomalies that's happening 
with a doctor's remuneration. But, but generally speaking, do, do you think this is don't don't you think this this is the a, a bad time for for your association to go on strike? I mean, university lecturers are on strike. You have strike here and there, and now you're coming in with your own. You, I've always said some people have uh, said, why not wait for the issue of uh, the lecturers to be resolved and then you, you take up your own? Well, it's uh, unfortunate that things are coinciding, but the truth of the matter be told is that doctors in Nigeria are averse to going on strike. Nigerian doctors are averse to going on strike. The reason is because there's no evidence showing that. I, mean, I will tell you. I will tell you. Doctors my are own, always uh, on strike. No, not always. always. Never always. always. In this country, never always. <laughs> reason is because. This issue had been on since January this year, and then it lingered up till this point. We think and believe that there are ample of opportunity for government to have intervened at a point. There are meetings, you know, there are agreements that were reneged upon. So where and how do you want to give confidence to the people you govern? If you have an agreement, but and I, the next but time you're, you're you also not considering your patients as well. Patients and some people have the, said this, this is in violation of your Hippocratic oath as well. The patients are the paramount in the mind of the doctor. However, as doctors, we are also patients. And I will tell you, uh, average doctor in Nigeria cannot even afford his own health based on what he hands. And there is a standard that I will have been set for a doctor you know, to meet. You will not expect that as a doctor, I will live the same way, uh, sorry to put this, a driver, a downfall driver will do. No. You expect some level of dignity, you know, from a doctor. And then if you expect such, then there should be something to give back to such people to bring out the best in them. Doctors are not supposed to be the one to chase salaries. What we are supposed to be doing is academic development. You know, look at how you can improve the health, what you can bring in terms of research, you know, do research, keep on thinking and thinking, rather than bothering your minds and bogging your heads about salaries that are supposed to be some people's responsibilities have been issue. So I don't think that there is sincerity in all of these issues, you know, because if there is, doctors should not be talking about salary. No, you just do your work, you get paid as I went due. This is what happened in normal climes. And I want to challenge every Nigerian to, 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 to say that, Whatever happens to you as a Nigerian, happens to the average doctor. We all go to the same market, and you cannot tell me that if I'm getting short change, how am I going to feed my family, pay my children's school you fees? You just have you to know, protest. You know, there are lots of things. It's not even about protesting. You know, no, I'm saying you, you just to, have to protest you to when you're speak out. Speak, speak out. out, and, and then one of the ways get, to protest is, is well, because you're down that to. is what they have turned Nigerians into. Because without doing that, the government regular doesn't dialogue listen. doesn't work. You know, as evidence has proven that in Nigeria. I've not seen where regular dialogue works because many people have been dialoguing with government at different levels, at different, you know, so, and then things are not being done. You mentioned ASU. I'm sure they've been dialoguing for a <laughs> long time before they got to this stage. You know, there are people that also be rising. I'm sure they have been dialoguing. So how does it work? I don't want to, we can go on and on and on on this issue. We are very sensitive to the plight of the patient and the plight of Nigeria, like I told you. Every doctor in Nigeria But you are want to see patients. this resolved very quickly so that you can return to Sincerely, work. Sincerely, hopefully, and take care of your we are not happy with the way things are. And then the best is to resolve this issue as urgent as possible. And then so that status quo can be you know, maintained and everything is settled once and for all again. Dr. Lala Leoba, thank you very much for coming on the program. And uh, let's just hope there's a quick resolution to this because the patients are suffering. People are leaving uh, public health institutions and going to private ones. And the private ones are not. They're actually not affordable. They're yes. actually not affordable. Well, that's it on the program. But if you want to watch it again, it's simple. All you just need to do is go to our website, www.tv360nigeria.com. Do subscribe uh, to our YouTube channel as well. The YouTube address is youtube.com forward slash tv360nigeria. Do subscribe now to get uh, updates on uh, latest happenings in the country. You can join us on Google Plus as well. It's at tv360 Nigeria. Or just like us on Facebook. The address is facebook.com forward slash TV360 online. You can as well follow us on Twitter. Our handle is at TV360 Nigeria. Well, thank you very much for watching. We'll see you again next week. Bye-bye.